Good morning, my bass brethren. Today I am here at the great, great House of Guitars with the recently, soon to be released, Gibson Gene Simmons G2 Thunderbird. We've been waiting a while for these, and I gotta say, it was worth the wait. I'm really impressed with this bass. Fit and finish are excellent. It has some very subtle appointments that makes it really cool. I just love the five ply black, white, black, white, black, white binding, the split diamond inlays, bound neck, ebony fingerboard, comes equipped with two Gibson humbucking pickups, hip shot bridge, and hip shot ultralight tuners. This bass plays and sounds great. It's a really authoritative, sustaining rock bass. Uh, I really like this bass. I'm probably going to have to buy one. But here's what she sounds like. I've got a little grit on the amp back here, so you know me, I don't play clean. But here we go. I really like this bass. Um, Great sound and bass. I really like it. Gibson's really, really done a nice job with it. Um, the basic features, a set neck. It is not neck through like the more um, traditional Thunderbirds. There's no, uh, you know, nine ply race center section. But I kind of like the simplicity of that. And personally, I do like set neck Thunderbirds like the early nine reverse Thunderbirds, the 65 through 69 Thunderbirds. I like set neck better. So, Again, this is a really nice bass. Gibson and Gene Simmons should be given uh, some kudos for this. So here it is. So. Current line one, please. That must be God. Anyhow, here it is, the Gene Simmons and Gibson G2 Thunderbird. Rock on. We'll see you guys later.